So, well, I'm, just, I'm gonna talk about it because, so holacracy, all these missing parts of Thanos being created by the people is a beautiful thing. It's like shit. So holacracy, Zappos Shoes runs by holacracy. Holacracy is a decentralized management system that has no head. There is no CEO in holacracy. There is no um, positions. There's no management and boss. In holacracy, instead, the way it works is you have what I call roles. In each, in, in, in holacracy, for example, like I was telling Chandler, in China, he is basically the dog of all development happening here. He can tell me to fuck off. Mike, we're not doing that, we have to do this, okay? Great, excuse the, excuse the bad language, right? You are the boss, okay? Yeah, right? I, I understand. Okay. Is, uh... So when he, when he goes to Brazil, because he's also gonna be on the AI team, he now, his role is a team member, and ultimate Daniel, is the dog on the dyslexic pod, right? You don't want to say the Lord's name in vain, right? Mm. The dog, right? He's, he basically runs the show. So in holacracy, it's really interesting because ultimately you will be in a position where you are kind of like a supportive. You may be in a position where you're a lead member. And the cool thing is it's completely organic. So um, as folks move around, they automatically fit into, into the system. It's a very simplistic overview. There's a lot of, if you type in holacracy learning videos, you're going to love it. You probably turn around and you're going to propose to the university, we need to run by holacracy. I, I will put money on it that you're going to want to transform your leadership system. It's only been, it's actually, I already, it came out in 2014 or around the same time when I came up with the whole idea of the DAO. So it's kind of like I, the DAO. I call it the the the, um, the uh, open corp or open corp, and they right. came up with a management system for the open corp. Mm -hmm. So you can see how it's like, how is this possible, right? It's so amazing. So that's holacracy. So in essence, what we're doing, and you read the thing, is we are going to set up launch found up houses. The core found up house is in Shanghai. Normal, the, the first stop from the metro. The idea is like when you fly here, or when we're gonna bring students here. It's a long flight, no more than 15 minutes on the metro. They're in bed, they're sleeping. This whole idea of trying to come all the way downtown on the weekends, they can come all the way downtown and enjoy the city. But um, you know, so the, the Fountain House will potentially hold 30 to 40 devs in one time. It's gonna be a four to five bedroom house. Um, each room will have potentially six, six bedroom, uh, six a bunk, six people per room, and we'll have one VIP room. So when you come, we're not going to put you in with the crew. When, when I come, I'm going to get my own bed. The manager of the house will will me. Okay. Any questions on that? You guys have hacker houses, right? You've seen a hacker house? No. Go to a hacker house. Home. Okay. Okay. Mm. So our hacker houses are really cool because they're also a permaculture homestead where we yeah. grow our own food. They're also a fabrication lab where we make our own things. Yeah. So like like we will do solar panels, we'll build solar panels, you will learn how to you know do all these cool things on top of the dev work. Right. And all this stuff is gonna tie into you guys for the certification. Yeah. So in order to be certified in found ups, you actually have to do found ups. You just can't study them. Yeah. So you study them, you get the basic knowledge, and then you apply the knowledge. It's the whole idea of kind of the mentorship and, the, and being a uh, what we call a pra pra um, practitioner. practitioner. Yeah. It's a practitioner model. Yeah. And what you were describing with your badges and stuff, yeah. when you check out Sergio, which yeah. we're going to partner with them, you're going to love them too. Because Sergio is going to maintain your knowledge base and whatever it is, and we're going to build on Sergio for the blockchain, and you will be able to say, I want to maintain my AI at this level of knowledge, yeah. and Sergio will automatically do that. It will test you. Do you remember this? Do you remember this? Do you remember this? Do you remember this? And it will, and it will know when to test you. Yeah. This is um, 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 a friend of mine's startup yeah. from Tokyo yeah. um, that I will approach and basically we will get access to their API yeah. and we're going to build it into our whole system, into the new I don't think they're autonomously driven. 
but it, I think applying their APOC with, with, our, with, with their autonomous is going to be very, very exciting for education and for other things. Anything you want to add? Anything? Any questions? So, this is John from Open University. Okay. Mm. Um, so I, I'm just repeating the, the question just now. Uh, so I, I want to have an understanding of the, the whole business, business model. Okay. So the money in is, is relatively clear. Okay. So, uh, so sorry, so uh, the investment I, I understand yes. and how we can get uh, income. We're gonna, all right, so we're yeah. going to do an ICO. Mm. An ICO. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're going to do an UPS ICO. Yeah. Um, the UPS ICO is going to basically release we haven't decided it's going to be your decision and the devil's decision, either a hundred billion or a trillion ups. Mm. But we're not going to release them. We're going to release them kind of like in stages mm. of 20 million at a time. Mm. Okay? Yeah. So that way we don't have the problems that releasing a lot of coins mm. has. Right? Mm. Mm. They're going to be capped so, so we can create the attraction of Bitcoin. Mm. Okay? These gentlemen here are basically pre-buying mm. 5 million of the coins, yeah. right? Mm. And, and what we're going to actually structure, and it may change, but the idea is this, is that as every time there is a gas release, mm. there's a wallet on the DAO, okay? Mm. Mm. You have a wallet, you have a wallet, you have a wallet, everyone who's a part of the team has a wallet, and based on a fair and reasonable rate, um, amount of the ups mm. will automatically be placed in that wallet. Okay, mm, yeah. as a as a kind of like a compensation of it, right? Yeah. My vision, my goal is this: is for ups to replace ETC. Mm. Okay, my vision for doing that is very simple. Foundups is going to grow viral. Yeah. Foundups, everyone's going to be in foundup houses. We're going to be talking about foundups, ETC foundups, ETC foundups. As you know, we have to make a hard fork yeah. next year. Yeah. Right? He can talk about it sometime, there's some issues with it. Mm. He has a very cool solution for doing the hard fork, right? Very simple solution. Yeah, it's simple, code. yeah. Very yeah. simple, it's yeah. not a problem. Yeah. So the opportunity is this, mm. if, if by next year mm. we work our butt off, mm. we're gonna put five, we're gonna start five, mm. each of those found-up houses are gonna grow viral. It won't be us launching them, but I imagine each found-up house with our marketing campaign that we're gonna put, there's gonna be five more. Five more, five more, five more. Each of those five are going to be five more, five more, five more. It's going to be like an Amway distribution mm. system, but there's no, there's no pyramid on this, right? It's mm. just the way it's going to go viral, right? Mm. So in a year's time, we could have a lot of found up houses, right? People doing found ups, um, you know, around. Everyone's going to want to have be the first found up house and. Wherever I'm the first in Argentina, I'm the first here, and we develop the five because in order for them to launch a founder house, they have to be certified. Right, they have yeah, to go yeah. through the program. Right? Mm, yeah. They go through the program, then they have to work under a certified person. Yeah. At this moment, you. I am the I am the only certified founder. I'll give you a badge mm. later. Thank mm. you. Mm. A little founder, little badge, and mm. I have my first student coming to mm. train with me in October for one month. Yeah. Mm. So it's a one month certification practicum. He's going to learn how to take care of chickens, he's going to learn how to manage the house, he's going to learn how to cook, he's going to learn all how to clean, he's going to manage all this stuff, right? Mm. So I ran a hacker house for eight months to learn that experience last year. Um, the Silicon Valley Hacker House um, is also one that will be, so we have the, Sh the Shanghai one, the Silicon Valley one, and the London one, mm. are the three primary ones that I want to get up. Mm by January, I don't know, mm. right? I want us to find, so find some place near you. These guys are gonna make a decision. The Fallop House, just so you know, is gonna be built into a land trust, okay? okay? It's a separate deal for Fallops, okay? It's an investment deal for people you know and everyone else to introduce, you have your parties, you know, and the whole idea is we're gonna take old houses and we're gonna make them perfect houses, and then five to 10 years, we ultimately unload them, and you can move into a completely sustainable, off-the-grid house with, with basically, if the light turned off tomorrow, hey, who cares, right? Yeah. Okay, that's the founder house. Or maybe you want to be a manager of a founder house, but you don't go to the scale of like you know, dirtying your fingers and fixing it up and ripping out the walls and you know, and, and fixing up an old house, right? So, or maybe you want to buy it as a non-profit and do other things with it, but use it as kind of like conjunction, for example, like the blockchain hub, 
which is a nonprofit. Who cares, right? But but the idea is that there is a, a physical asset that we can take, we can build up, and we can basically put on the market. The deal is this: the only requirement is this is 80% of the net profits and capital gains of the sale goes back into the Dow. Mm. Everything goes into the Dow. Mm. Okay. The Dow then feeds autonomously the found-ups. Mm. The found-ups are built on something called CABR, Compounded Annual Benefit Rates, mm. which we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go back to Linga. Or you are gonna have lunch with Linga, mm. right? Right. And I want to bring Alinga back on board, mm. but we're gonna structure a new deal with him. Mm. Okay. And we're going to take his algorithm and say, listen, we want to license your algorithm as part of CABR. It's not, it's just a part of CABR. Mm -hmm. We can structure it as, a, again, a separate entity mm -hmm. from the land trust, from FoundUps. And he says, you know what? You, and, and we and it, and think of it as a, if its own FoundUp or its own investment. And as we build this entity and as this valuation engine basically becomes the valuation engine, that is going to be licensed out through our API, through our Noodle. So our Noodle will tap into this algorithm, mm. right? That we're going to build onto, which is going to tap into your algorithm, right? So collectively, so collectively, this thing will become Cavern. Mm. The Cavern annual benefit rate. That's going to that's going to that's going to drive the valuation of startups and move it away from Cavern. Any questions? Does that make sense? Mm. Right. So. Um, but that, so it would be nice to bring Alinga on because Alinga knows a lot of people. You know, he did reach out to me, we got his document and give me that piece of like, hey, we got 200 million potential valuation. I haven't shared the document, I'll send it to you, right? Um, it's part of our portfolio that we can look. Um, it's, uh, I think it would be good. We're trying to, he, he has a good organization, blockchain for good. Right. <laughs> I just want to make sure that it is a blockchain for good. And not a blockchain for good in order to get access to something to do whatever the fuck, excuse me, he's trying to do with it. Is it really good or is it an illusion to be good? Because here's why I walked away from him. Here's a billionaire. He knows my situation. He knows basically I've been living, my wife has a job. I've been fortunate enough to have an animal planet and documentary, I have some capital coming in, right? I have Cambodians. Not my friends on LinkedIn, not my friends on Facebook. Freaking Cambodians putting every bit of money they have. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry. And here is this whale. I said, listen, well, so my 15 grand runs out this month. I want you to step up and be that 15 grand because I don't want to see that lapse. Michael, I don't do that. In that moment, I said, you are a fucking whale. And he laughed with a big, yeah, I'm a fucking whale. Right? And so I said, Shamu, Shamu, yeah, that's the killer whale. That's your name from now on. I said, the entire team is going to call you Shamu, right? And then I had to deal with Alinga, and Alinga said, I've got this document for Chandler. I've got this document, he's going to love it. Right, because the whole play with Chandler was to give him the world, right? The whole document is like, hey, give him the world, and I'm going to be here behind it, and I'm going to sweeten the deal. So he gets ETC, right? So when I get this document, and I had specifically told him in our first meeting, over my dead body, no anyone's going to own Found Us. It ain't going to happen. In the second line, to be owned by and controlled by Chandler and him. I didn't read any further. I fucking, excuse me, my French, I'm sorry. I, I basically just unfriended him on, on, on Skype, right? I took him off my, I have like on Facebook, I have close friend or, or the core or my leader, so they see all the stuff that I do, right? Took him out of that, didn't say anything to him. And then I started posting his doc everywhere. All of a sudden, actually, actually, I didn't. All of a sudden, he goes, "Hey, someone just woke me out of bed." The doc, you know, someone from his organization saw me posting this. Like, why is this whale offering us two hundred million dollars? Because the startup is screwed. That is why. He is trying to own Foundups. Foundups is not going to be owned, right? So he sent an email saying to Tyler, "You're violating the NDA." Tyler never released anything. I never signed an NDA. So. 
I basically burned him. I know, I've, and I've not released a full document, but I released just the cover page with the offer and everything else and Chandler's name. And I tried to do a leverage. I tried to do a leverage on Chandler. I said Chandler before I before I met with Chandler. I basically denied the offer from him. I sent him an email. I said I can't accept this. I couldn't do it after Chandler because then I could be come back to me and say, oh, you didn't have the deal, and then you said no to create this thing. Well, actually, I knew I didn't have the deal because previously I spent three hours with Chandler, and Chandler is just a digger, okay? He understands digging for Bitcoin. He doesn't understand noodles. He doesn't understand what we're trying to do. He thinks of found ups is like, you know, he doesn't get it. I tried for three hours, right? So, so I knew Chandler was gonna say no, from Chandler saying no, I knew this deal was going to be dead, okay? So when I made the, the choice that I denied the deal before I met with Chandler, then I presented, I said, Chandler, I denied this deal. This deal was to get me on board, I can't accept it. And I said, by the way, it's public. It looks like you and a whale try to buy founders. I did not put this deal together, Chandler. I trust you as a, you've seen the picture, right? The, you know, I shared it with the group, right? Yeah. Um, um, I did not write this deal, I did not make this deal up. This is not the deal that I wanted. Okay? And I tried to say, listen, you know, um, you know, you can either do nothing and accept the fact that you're on this piece of paper. I will say that, you know, that, that uh, uh, you didn't want to be involved or whatever. So, but Chandler didn't care. <laughs> Chandler, Chandler. Wow. Wow. No. So, ultimately, Ultimately, this person, um, um, you know, made me realize that, in, in my view, his intentions, there's something there behind his intentions, and the fact that he went by it. But that's it, any questions? That's it, any questions? That's the story, and then the new story. So I feel the tears. Those Cambodians tear me up, let me tell you. I need to shoot for 20 minutes,